This is a video tutorial for the Happy Days Hair Scrunchie with Bunny Ears. You'll need fabric for the scrunchie, fabric for the bunny ears and a piece of elastic. And this is how you make it. Place your scrunchie fabrics wrong sides down so you're looking at the pretty side and fold lengthways in half and crease. Measure five centimeters from the edge and make a mark. And do the same for this side. And then add some clips. I've added some clips and I'm now going to take it over the sewing machine and starting at this mark I made, back stitch a few times and then using a quarter of an inch seam allowance, sew all along until you reach your other mark and stop and back stitch. I've sewn between the two marks and now I'm going to turn it the right way out. I've turned it the right way out and now I'm going to take this raw edge and this raw edge and place them right sides together. Line up the sides and the top edges Add a clip Add another If you can see I'm lining it all up I've clipped the two ends together, I've lined up the top and the sides and now I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and use a quarter of an inch seam allowance starting at the edge, sew all the way down to the other side and stop. Once you've sewn across, pull apart and then tuck in the raw edges. Now take your elastic and a safety pin and pin it to the side of your, of your gap. Then take another safety pin and pin it to the end of your elastic and then slowly thread your elastic all the way around. Carefully unclip your safety pins. Be careful the elastic doesn't shoot back, back down. And uh, you can either sew your elastic together on your sewing machine. Or if you do sew it, use a zigzag stitch. Or you can tie a knot. It's up to you. I've sewn my elastic together. And I've made sure that my raw edges are folded in. And now I'm going to add some clips. I've added a few clips to close up the gap and now I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and use a scant quarter of an inch seam allowance to close it. You could, if you wish, sew it by hand. It's completely up to you. To make the bunny ears, you'll need two pieces of fabric. Place your fabric pretty sides up and then place one on top, right sides together. So you're looking at the back. Line up the edges and add some clips. Starting at the gap, do a few back stitches and sew all the way around. Carefully around the, the top, all the way around until you get back to the other side of your gap. Back stitch. 
I've sewn all the way around using a quarter of an inch seam allowance and I've remembered to leave my seven centimetre gap at the side and now I'm going to turn it the right way out. I'm now going to sew the gap closed. That's your bunny ears all finished. So all you've got to do now is take your scrunchie, find where your back seam was on your scrunchie to hide it simply tie a knot get the ears a bit even and that's your scrunchie with bunny ears all finished